Shalom. First off, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, true name Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit, which the Holy Spirit is with comforts and guides us, especially during these perilous times to come. I also want to give a double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who teach and rule well with truth and sincerity, and peace and salutations to the elect. When I seen this article, I was like, man, these devils trying to kill everything. <laughs> and as you know, when you're in this truth, you understand that the devil, well, when you're teaching 100% truth, that was told from us from our elders and apostles, a great millstone down to the men that teach the same doctrine, you you come to find out that the these devils, which is the so-called white man who forefathers Esau Edom, like I said, is is really the devils. They bloodthirsty. And they ultimately saying like they just about trying to kill everything. Like I said in one of my other videos, like the scriptures say, if the Lord hasn't shortened when hadn't shortened the days, there'd be no flesh to be saved. And that can include them the, the devils them damn so they would self destruct themselves. But like I said, I seen this article, it says Democrats to introduce pet tax for citizens who refuse to euthanize their healthy pets. And as you know, us in this truth, we're not with this the Democratic or Republic Party or none of that politics stuff. We're with the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because we understand that that's ultimately just the two horns that's on the lamb. The Democratic and the Republic Party is just two two horns on one lamb. Basically, it's the same thing. They both got the same agenda. But it says Democrats have announced plans to introduce an expensive pet tax for citizens who refuse to euthanize their healthy pets as part of the WEF's net zero agenda. Last year, the WEF urged governments around the world, including America, which we know America is spiritually Egypt, Sodom, also known as the virgin daughter of Babylon or Babylon the Great in the scriptures. It says to begin slaughtering millions of cats and dogs in an effort to reduce the carbon paw print they produced as a result of eating meat. It said, now Democrats have introduced a bill, HB 241163, which requires all pet owners to register their animals in a state-run system with fees that critics are calling exorbitant and unnecessary. The idea behind the fees is to discourage pet ownership and force most pet owners to euthanize their pets to avoid paying the taxes. And like I said, you can look at this both ways. These devils are money hungry. Basically, they love money. Like the scriptures say, First Timothy 6 and the 10th verse, for the love of money is the root of evil, roughly paraphrasing. So, like I said, they ultimately want to oppress everybody. They want to tax just about everything. That's why they allow these women to, you know, work. And ultimately, which led to disorder in majority of these households, because as we can see, when the women are able to, you know, be make a good amount of money, especially if it's more than their husband, they sit there and their their minds can't handle it and they get big headed and starts to be rebellious and disrespectful because they feel like they don't need their man. Especially the woman of our nation. One of well, one of the tribes of our the woman of one of the tribes of our nation, especially the so called black black woman from the tribe of Judah. Because we know the Lord's people are the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, which they consist of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans. But I'm going to continue on to say the, the proposed pet animal registration systems under the Pet Animal Registration Act stipulates annual registration for pets with sliding scale of fees that seem to punish those without the means to pay. Because, yeah, like I said... They want to they wanna basically just tax everything. So people that can barely afford the cost of living, as we can see, a lot of the people are mourning based on what's going on in the world. You know, like I said, the prices of things, prices going up, taxes, not being able to afford rent. You know, people are basically getting evicted, moving back in with their parents, all these types of things. And then on top of that, they're going to throw the pet tax on top. 
at eight fifty for pets with a designated caregiver, sixteen for unneutered or unspayed pets with a caregiver. So you know these people that own kennels, you know they don't neuter their dogs because they ultimately that's their living. They breed the dogs to um make their money. So now they're going to get taxed because their animals are unneutered. And of a healthy 25 for pets without caregivers, the financial burden could be significant for multi-pet households, not to mention breeders and sellers who may face the tax for each animal over six months old in their care. Like I said, that's through the spirit because I just said that. This fee structure applies to a broad spectrum of animals. So don't think just because you got you a little turtle or a lizard or... A pet, probably a pet cockroach. <laughs> you know, some of these people got roaches in their house. They might try to tax you. The the roaches gonna have to start paying rent. <laughs> like they say, these mo- they ain't living rent free no more. Ranging from dogs and cats to reptiles, amphibians, fish, and even invertebrates, leaving no pet owner untouched. Like I said, they trying to get everything. Consider the financial burden on a family with diverse array of pets. A hundred dollar, a hundred aquarium fish could cause the owner up to twenty five hundred annually without designated caregivers, according to the U.S. Ark. <laughs> and they talking about designated caregivers. Like what? What does they? I don't know, man. These people crazy. But as you can see, I mean, I'm gonna, worry. I'm gonna jump into some scriptures. Because even Job talk about these devils. These devils is crazy. Job. What's that? Job 30. And I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. So, as we know, Esau Edom is likened to children. Like it says in Ecclesiastes, the 10th and the 16th verse, woe to you when your king is a child. So, ultimately, they're like children that's that's unsupervised and able to play around, you know, with fire. And what we know that's going to lead to, ultimately, them possibly getting burnt. But that's ultimately what's going to happen to America, the great horde, the, like I said, that rides upon the beef, beast. The NATO and the EU, the system. Now, this whole system is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, by them ICBM missiles. But it says, what did it say again? I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Because you can't even trust these people with animals. (laughs) That's how serious, that's how crazy it is. They be practicing, you know, bestiality, all types of wickedness. Job said he wasn't even would have disdain to have set with the dogs of his flock. No, that's crazy. But like I said, even even the animals gotta fear these devils. Bad enough the people already do. We're not actually fear them. They I mean cause ultimately we fear Yahweh Bashim Shah. The ones that's, you know, in this truth, the hopeful elect. The ones that's praying to be delivered during the time, during the destruction to come when this devil when this kingdom does get burned with fire, which the elect is a of the nation of is going to be coming out of the nation of Israel, which today consists of the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners that look like heathen but are not heathen, because their father the sea line traces back to one of the twelve progenitors of the twelve tribes of Israel. One third of the nation of Israel will be delivered. Two thirds are going to be likened unto heathen because they're not going to receive this truth. But I'm going to go to Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And like I always say, that that's the people that's mourning. And that includes, ultimately, the animal and all forms of life. The earth is mourning because these devils are in power. Romans chapter 8. And I'm going to start at verse 19. And I'm going to read it in the NLT. It says, For all creation is waiting eagerly for the future day when God will reveal who his children really are. The nation of Israel. Against its will, all creation was subjected to God's curse, but with eager hope 
The creation looks forward to the day when it will join God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay. For we know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. So ultimately, like I said, like I said, the whole creation, basically all creation are mourning. Like I said, these devils are coming for the animals. They coming for the animals. They coming for the people. They coming for anybody that's outside of, I guess, their their personal selves. And I'm talking about the ones that's in rulership, the elite. The elites that's in rulership, Job nine and twenty four. Matter of fact, since I since I said it, Job nine. And 24, I think I'm going to bring this out, damn near a lesson. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And when the Bible talks about the wicked, that's talking about the so-called white man. Like I said, who forefathers Esau eat them. And specifically, we're talking about the elites. Not your average day Joe at the Starbucks drinking coffee with you. We're talking about the ones that you don't see, the ones that's, that's not paying taxes, the ones that control the money. That's what we talking about, the one who makes the moves. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? But, like I said, that's why we're waiting for the, the kingdom. Once the kingdom is established, everyone is going to be rejoicing. But we understand that after the thousand year that East of slavery that the heathen are going to be in, you know, the our enemies, the other 17 nations, Esau Edom is going to be round up and exterminated. So I'm going to just finish off with Revelation 11. I'm going to start at 16. And, and the point is in 18. And the four and 20 elders were set before God on their seat fell upon their faces and worshiped God, saying, We give thanks, O Lord, God Almighty, which art and was and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and has reigned. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, in the time of the dead that sh that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name which that's the elect, small and great, and should us destroy them, which destroy the earth. What did NLT say? It says, Revelation 11, 16 is NLT. The 20 and four elders sitting on their thrones before God fell with their faces to the ground and worshiped him. And they said, we give thanks to the Lord Yahweh Shem Hashem, the Almighty, the one who is and and who always was. And that's that's the Heavenly Father. For now you have assumed your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were filled with wrath, but now the time of your wrath has come. It is time to judge the dead and reward your servants, the prophets, as well as your holy people and all who fear your name. From the least to the greatest, it is time to destroy all who have caused destruction on the earth. And like we see, it says that it says the World Economic, world economic Forum urged governments around the world, including America, to begin to slaughter millions of cats and dogs in effort to reduce carbon paw print <laughs> they produce as a result of eating meat. Like I said, these devils are the ones that destroy the earth. They cause all these problems. They they take the 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 animal the animal the wildlife that's not supposed to be eating out of the water, like crabs, shrimps, lobsters etc the the bottom feeders the cleaners of the water and and they consider them to be food when we understand that they're unlawful which makes the water to be polluted they the ones that put pork and damn near everything when we know that the heavenly father created pigs you know basically to be like the basically the garbage disposals but they these devils they they constantly do things promoting the sin pushing adultery etc which leads to ultimately murder, death, destruction, etc. But then they try to come out like they have a solution. 
but they're the ones that's causing the problems. <laughs> Just like this, this world, this um, this this war, World War Three. These devils control both. They control both sides in the war, but they try to make it seem like you know it's two against the other. But ultimately, the ultimate controller of all who's running this movie in general is the Heavenly Father through His Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So you can't get that twisted. These prophecies going to come to pass. And that's what we're waiting for. All the prophecies to come to pass. And like I always say, for these devils to push that mark of the beast, the alpha, the microchip, and make it mandatory. And that's when we understand that we'll know that who the, who's the heavenly fathers and his son chosen, the elect. And that's what we're waiting for. And we pray that we're part of that number to be delivered during that time to come when all hell breaks loose. But... That's all I got. Shalom.